What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you a Twitter tool that you probably have not used before. <laughs> At least I haven't. And you're gonna to wanna to use it now. So stay tuned. And that tool is called Publish. Publish.twitter.com is the URL on how to get there. And what it does is it gives you a variety of ways to embed Twitter content. And this has been out for at least since 2015, and I've never heard of it before. And so we're going to take a look at it and see uh, exactly how it works. It asks you, what would you like to embed? Now you can click in here and it'll give you some options that you can try. So you can put in a collection, you can put in a specific tweet, but you can also do that right from the Twitter timeline as well. There's a little drop down arrow and you can select embed tweet. I wouldn't probably use publish for that. You can uh, embed a profile. You can embed a list. So all of your lists of people that you've collected, you can put a list and embed that on your website. And you can do a Twitter handle, which is what we're gonna do. And you can do a hashtag, which would be great for uh, events and challenges and that type of thing. So we're gonna do a handle and we're gonna do an embedded timeline. So these are your options. So you select what type of content you want and then you could select how you want your option, how you want that to be displayed. So we have Twitter buttons and if we click on that, there are several to choose from. You can have a share and a follow and mention hashtag and a message. I'm not gonna get into buttons on this video, but you're welcome to go check those out yourself. And we've already discussed the embed tweet and then there's the embed grid, which I'm still trying to figure out. And if you know how, post in the comments below because that looks really cool. You can collect all of your images and make it a nice grid for your website. That, that'll probably look really cool. So we put in Lawrence A. Snow and it already knows that we want to do embedded timeline. So we've done that. And this is how quick and easy it is to create an embedded item, an embedded Twitter feed, right? So uh, this is the code that you would copy and then we can get into customizations. But before I do that, I want to show you how I would, up until now, how I would do how to embed your profile, your tweets that you've shared on Twitter on your website. And that is to go over to the widget configurator, which sounds very death defying, doesn't it? That configurator. And how to get there is to go to your, uh, click on your little profile icon and click on settings and privacy and then select widgets. And you'd put in your username or it doesn't have to be your username, could be anyone's username. And you could exclude replies and height and theme and all that stuff. Now, then you'd have to go over to the customizations where you would add in specific parameters and change colors and all that stuff. With Twitter publish, here's our code already done. And here's how we set our customizations. We click on set customization options and we put in a height, which I've already put in 300. I'm not gonna put in a width because sometimes you just don't know how wide your sidebar is. So if you put in a width that's too small, it'll look kind of narrow in your sidebar. So I just would forego the width. You can make it light or dark. And if we make it dark, it'll turn to a nice uh, dark uh, gray. And we have a lovely green color if you want. You could do purple, or you could put in a specific uh, hexa hexadecimal color that matches your brand. I don't know, I kind of like the dark with the purple. Then we can click what language we want this displayed in and I'm gonna stick with automatic. I've opted out of tailoring Twitter. Now if you click on that question mark, it's gonna take you over to some Twitter privacy information and you should be checking that out always whenever anything has to do with your privacy always check it out it's always a good thing even if it is just something simple as this you're welcome to take a look at this at your leisure and I highly recommend it all right so we've set our URL we've set our Twitter handle we've done our embedded timeline we've set all the colors and now we're going to click update so we get an updated code with all of our changes. We're gonna copy the code. 
Now, I'm gonna put this over my WordPress website, but this would work in any website that you post this code in. So it doesn't have to be WordPress. But over on WordPress, I've already set up a custom HTML widget. And to get the widgets, if you're not familiar with WordPress, in the admin side of WordPress, you go to appearance and then select widgets. And once we have our custom HTML, I'm gonna post in our code and I'm gonna click, click save. Once it's saved, we can go over to our website and I've already done a demo, but I'm gonna refresh this to see our lovely dark color with our purple links. Now, once someone is, arrives on your website, wow, that really stands out, doesn't it? This is how they can interact with your embedded tweets on your, on your website. So they can click on Learn Say Snow and go and follow you if they're not already following you. Uh, you can view on Twitter, you can click on my name, you can click on the handle up here, and then you can click on the Instagram and it will take you right to that post, right to the Instagram post. And then you can also uh, like it. So you could do that. And I'll open it up a little dialog box here where you can go and like it. And you can scroll through all of the tweets uh, that that person has uh, shared on Twitter. So pretty cool, right? And it's so easy to do now. None of that widget configurator mess. Go right over to publish.twitter.com and start sharing what you've been posting on Twitter on your website to increase engagement and conversation. So have you used the Publish tool before? Let me know in the comments below. If not, and, and through this video and you think you're gonna use it, let me know too. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button and also the little bell as that will notify you when a new video goes up on YouTube. For more about me, go to larrysnow.me and I'll see you in the next video.